Hi, and welcome to the first ever In My Mug. Um, with me, uh, Steve Layton. Uh, I'm the um, owner and head roaster at Has Been Coffee, uh, www.hasbeen.co.uk. Um, we're an online retailer um, who specialise in all things wonderful to do with coffee. And uh, yeah, the idea of this little project that we're doing here is to share my passion with you for my love of coffee. Um, I hope you can bear with me a little bit. I'm kind of getting used to this whole camera, blogging, talking, kind of trying to make sure I get all my points in. So, you know, I kind of hope this works out well. Um, so, what I'm going to do is each time I'm going to talk to you about what's in my mug. Uh, today, my mug is my Lazy Homer mug. Um, what I'm going to try and do for each one of these um, blogs that I do, I'm going to have a different mug. But this is my Homer mug, um, one of my favourites. And in my mug today is one of my favourite coffees, um, not just one of my favourite coffees of the moment, but one of my favourite coffees of all time. Um, it's called Brazil Fazenda Cachoeira, and it's the 100% yellow Bourbon, Pulp Natural, from the uh, Miras Genas, oh, I always get the pronunciation wrong, Miras Genas area, which is on the east side of Brazil, it's kind of mid-Brazil, and um, yeah, it's an incredibly popular area popular with me because I love the coffees from there. They really are quite something special. Um, and this one is, th for me, the best. Um, it's kind of quite an emotional coffee for me too because it was when I first had one of my big epiphany moments in coffee and I realised that, you know, it isn't just a brown beverage that you drink that, you know, kind of to get rid of a hangover or to wake you up in the morning, but it could be something that was just as complex as a fine wine or as as complex as a you know a fantastic meal um, and this coffee I can remember exactly where I was the day that I had my first ever cachoeira and and even now every time I have it you know kind of drinking it today it's been one of those things where you drink it and you just kind of go oh, wow this is stunning you know this is this is what good coffee is all about now don't get me wrong, there are better coffees out there, you know, there are higher scoring coffees, should I say. I don't think they're actually better, but there are higher scoring coffees. But what this coffee does so well is everything. It's incredibly sweet. It has a complex acidity that's controlled and, it, and it's not over the top. It's not a show pony coffee like a lot of the kind of competition winning coffees tend to be very acidic and very bright. This has got an acidity, but it's not over the top. It's incredibly balanced. It has a lovely body, has a lovely smoothness with that acidity, with that sweetness, with those complex tastes going on in there. But also for me, it's a coffee that just gets better every single year. You know, the hard work that Gabrielle does, and Gabrielle, by the way, is the farmer. Um, I've been lucky enough to meet Gabrielle on a couple of occasions, and, and this, this dude is just the top guy in coffee. He's so cool, but he's also... He, incredibly passionate about what he does as well um, which is kind of why he links with me because I'm incredibly passionate about what what, what I do here and um, you know we're all trying to kind of produce a bit of coffee and it's great that we've got somebody um, you know working with us that does that so let's talk about it in the mug um, in the mug it has this beautiful sweetness really really caramel toffee and milk chocolate that very very sweet milk chocolate it's very very balanced has a fantastic acidity the one that i'm drinking here at the moment is a um 2007 2008 crop so the brazil crop is currently rotating in so as we speak they're harvesting um and we're speaking in October, by the way, in case you're watching this sometime in the future in Blogosphere World. But you know, at, at the moment, the coffees have been harvested. We've actually got some of the new crop that's being shipped to us at the moment. It's on its way, and I'm really excited about that one. Um, but this was picked beginning of this year, 2008, you know, January, February time. It was shipped in March, um, and it's just it's so rested, and and it, and it's just a complete lovely rounded cup. What's that? You're not believing me? You're not kind of, oh, come on, give me, give me a break. But no, well, honestly, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to try this coffee. If you haven't tried this coffee before, it's just one that you must, must try. And to convince you to do that, I'm going to give you a coupon code. Now, normally, this coffee is kind of, I think it's about £3.30 for 250 grams of roasted, something like that. I'm off the top of my head, I really should have checked my facts before I came on here. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a coupon code that's going to give you a pound off um, that bag of 250 grams. And that's on Roasted or Green, so you home roasters out there can also uh, have a play with this wonderful coffee. And the coupon code is in my mug, so I N M Y M U G 1300. If you go to www.hasbeen.co.uk and search for C A C H in the little search box on the left hand side of the page, um, it will bring up Kishwara, and then you can click through. As you get to the shopping cart part, there's a little part where you put that coupon in, and it's in my mug. 1300 and that's going to be up there until the end of October so I'll give you a great chance to try this coffee I'm sure it's one I'm going to review again on, 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 uh, on this because it is just a stellar stunning coffee and it is one of my all time favourites um, but this is just for this month and I thought I'd start with a coffee that you know, kind of means a real lot to me so my first attempt at video blogging um, I hope you're still with me and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I would really, really love to hear your feedback on whether this is something that you think is a good idea or a bad idea. Um, my email address comes straight through to me, Steve, S-T-E-V-E, at hasbeen, H-A-S-B-E-A-N, dot co dot UK. And I really would love to have some feedback. Um, another thing I'd really like from you guys, if you're listening out there, is I'd really love some questions. So if you've got any questions that you'd like to pose to me, um, anything to do with coffee, uh, nothing to do with football, uh, but anything to do with coffee, I'd be really, really pleased to answer those for you. And um, you know, perhaps we can have a little two-way conversation going on with this, and that that would be really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sign off from uh, my my office den at home here, and um, yeah, hopefully as I get more confident with this stuff, I hope to do some more uh, blog kind of video blogs from the roastery, so you'll be able to kind of get to see where we roast the coffee. Um, see our cupping lab, see our roasters and, and perhaps uh, get to see a little bit more. But thanks very much and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.